stage green is again a collectivistic stage. The pendulum swings in the other direction again. Orange was all about success and individuality and it doesn't really make you fully happy. Money can't buy you life. That's what you realized, for example. And now you reject the shallow materialism. You start to experience deeper joy in life. This stage is all about community, tolerance, equality and peace, fairness, empathy. And it is all about your emotions and not about thinking. So you really start to attach to your inner feelings. You're able to listen to your inner self. Intuition also becomes here very important. Green has a strong need to be accepted and for belonging. It's very much a group thinking. You really want harmony that plays an important role within the group. Differences within the group are even supported. It's okay that everybody is different. You accept everybody. You accept everybody's point of view. Everyone is taken seriously and accepted. And you listen to all sides first before you make a conclusion. Being a mediator is a classical green job. You as a green person, you are a perfect group person because you are sensitive about the needs of others. You really try to play your part within the group and make sure that everybody feels good and can work dynamically. Participation and integration is very important. What you also came to realize is that competition, as you learned it in orange, is draining. What you want is cooperation. Why are we competitive? Let's just cooperate and be stronger together. That makes much more sense instead of pushing each other down. Also green experiences almost no hierarchies. So here you can already see the slight differences to stage blue. Stage blue was also about community, but stage green is much more tolerant and loving and they don't care about hierarchies at all. Everybody is equal. Success for green means if the team has a correct configuration and they have a long-term mutual securing success. That is success for green. So it's all about, again, the group. You also not think about your country, but about the world. Blue was very much in this in-group, out-group thinking. Green takes everybody into account. When it comes down, for example, to homophobia, orange, the last stage, was fine with it. They didn't really care. Green really even appreciates differences. And they include everybody with love. Green often also cares about the pollution. That's why they go vegan or they help non-profit organizations to make sure that the world is the better place also for the children of your children. And as you probably already realized, green is a little bit more a feminist stage. So man starting to transition green, they start to become a little bit more feminine than they used to be in stage orange. It's okay now to show weakness. It's even something that you want to accept your weakness and feel what is happening within. Green people love hugging, open-mindedness and deep sex. It is not about banging a hot chick anymore which, for example, was very important for Orange, to have your prestige wife who's beautiful and smart. Now it is much deeper. It's much more loving. Green also starts to think much deeper. You're able to observe yourself not only from a third perspective, as Orange did, but additionally, you also have a fourth perspective. So you can observe the observer, because you not only observe yourself and try to uncover your biases but you can even question the way you look at yourself you observe the observer who's observing you this is pretty deep you also tend to think more in systems how everything is connected in systems you see how 
complex the world actually is. There's so many multiple factors in here. Some factors are more important, some less. Some have indirect effects. You don't like this one perspective. There is not one truth. It's all about perspective, perspective wisdom. So in an argumentation, you're also highly open-minded and take others into account. Sometimes even too much because you find truth in every single perspective and say, yeah, okay, that's also a little bit true. That might be already a little bit of a weakness that you're not getting to a point and you like talking a lot. Now, let's talk a little bit more about examples. Stage Green evolved about 50 years ago. And that's also around when the hippies, the hippie movement arises. And the hippie movement was partly an unhealthy manifestation of green because they swing the pendle from orange to green quite strongly. Some people are really against money. Let's just share love and peace and happiness. And money is the root of all evil and huge corporations are bad. And this is clearly state green. Recycling, healthy food and exercise is state green. But now be careful because just because you eat healthy and exercise doesn't mean that you're green. You can also have a different motivation about it. If you say, I just want to be healthy so I can be more productive and I want to exercise so I'm just more fit, this is an orange motivation. So you see how nuanced this model is. So anything I'm saying here in those all previous videos, don't take it for real. If I gave you, for example, an example and you say, Marco, but I know somebody who's doing that and he's not this stage. Of course not. There are different motivations, but there's a tendency, the tendency or the idea the idea of recycling is a green approach. It is about being sustainable. And again, it's also not an all or nothing principle. Just because somebody is doing that doesn't mean that he's then fully this stage. Oh, I know he's vegan, so he must be green. No, it's not like that. And not everybody who is green is vegan and is recycling. There's also not a necessity here. Green people can also suffer from burnout because they help too much. They want to help the entire world. If you're a nurse, for example, trying to help everybody, 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 and you kind of forget about yourself. Equality of both sexes is green. Apple and Google, they tend to have green work structures. Of course, that, that's uh, still an orange company, but they are about to transition even to green. If you look at how the company looks like, how the employees work there, what kind of life you can experience if you work for those companies. NLP, yoga and tantra is green. The law of attraction. You know the movie probably. This is stage green. Connect with the universe and use your thoughts. The new spirituality. Mahatma Gandhi. Leonardo DiCaprio. He's in fact an interesting figure because he used to be orange, of course. He wasn't or isn't a successful actor. But then at some point he realized, I didn't talk with him, but probably he realized, I made so much money, I'm so successful. I think I should put my effort now in something more that is more selfless. And then he shot Before the Flood, documentary. And that's a clear sign of transitioning to green trying to use his power to raise the awareness of the unsustainable way we're living right now. Mark Zuckerberg also tends to go green. Now he's probably still locked in two worlds, the orange world and the green world, because he has his business, he got to make the money. But then on the other hand, he starts to experience green values. And that's why he, for example, wants to give almost all of his money away after he's dead. Now again, you probably realize there are ups and downs of the stage. Ups are, for example, that you are environmentally aware and you try to act sustainably. Cooperation is a huge plus. You start to understand cooperation and try to live it deeply. Of course, previous stages could also live in a cooperative way, but here it really got emphasized. Together we are strong. 
the deep appreciation of others in general, connecting with others, connecting with your inner feelings, emotional intelligence is rising here dramatically, having deep dialogues and connecting, and equality, of course, which is a very fair virtue. And in general, yes, you can say that those people tend to be a little bit more happy than, for example, stage orange people, because they try to connect to a deeper value. Downsides, though, are, for example, you're trying to convince everybody that they need to go vegan, and if they're not going vegan, they're bad human beings. You probably had one of those conversations before. So that's kind of interesting because we said green takes all perspectives into account that everybody is kind of right. But nevertheless, stage green is still tier one. And we will talk about this in the next video. So this stage, or all the stages below until green, green included, they are still caught up in their worldview. So they still think that they are right and everybody needs to think their way, even though they also honestly think that every perspective is partly true. But only in the next stage, you come to realize about the big picture and really taking all perspectives into account and be in this outside perspective. Green sometimes experiences money problems because they don't really care about money so much. But nevertheless, you have to understand if you evolve in a healthy way, you evolve out of orange. So you don't need to think badly about orange. You integrated orange and all your success habits and having a successful business. And then you integrate greens. So it's not like a necessity that you have money problems. But it's just true that stage green is not really caring so much about money and they, they're not really interested and focused on that so much. So that's why there might be the tendency that people experience to earn less money. Stage green people also tend to demonize thinking. Stop thinking, start feeling. We don't need thinking. Which is not true. Of course, thinking is a great thing and we need it. How can you stop thinking? You tend to be too compassionate, too emotional, try to help everybody. You tend to have two flat hierarchies because at some point you need an order. More experienced and competent people need to be a little bit high on the hierarchy according to, for example, the next stage. Everything is right, being this mood of everybody's right to a certain degree. This might be also negative at some point. Having fruitless meetings, because you're talking so much and everybody's kind of right, you're not really getting to a point and get results. You talk a lot, but without productivity at the end. And stage green people often get exploited, for example, by stage orange people. Because you want to help and share and you can't really say you're like no yeah i help you as well and stage orange sometimes then uses that for example or stage red or other stages Okay, let's talk about communication. People in stage green love talking in an empathic way, in an emotional way. Germans, they have differentiation within the word you. They can say it in a more formal way or in a more personal way. And stage green people love to use the more personal you, not the formal way, because it's not so Emotional is more like a serious business talk. Show that you appreciate the other person. And of course, this is important in every stage, but stage green especially likes that. Here, it is also okay and even great if you engage in some body contact. So touch their shoulders, even maybe hug. I was once working in a company which was quite stage green 
And even the CEO, if he came in, he started to hugging people like, hey, good morning, just in a very short way, but it was much more a deep connection. And he was even connecting with me on a totally different level. And he really took me for real. So that's another thing. If you talk to stage green people, show them that there are no hierarchies or at least flat hierarchies. So you appreciate everybody and everybody's human. Also try to make a nice atmosphere. For example, if you give a seminar, green people would love some music before. Of course, you can do that with almost every stage. But again, green appreciates that much more. Talk in an open way. Use storytelling. Tell an emotional story, which then you can derive some action step. And for your PowerPoint slides, you can use large emotional pictures. That's what they love. Stage blue, for example, they don't like that. But stage green really loves that. If you give them a compliment, talk in the we form. We did that and that is great and you contributed to it significantly. If you want to criticize them, you can be direct, yes, they can endure pain. But in the end, tell them something positive and something like, we will work this out together. Also, if you sit together with people in a circle, take the tables away. They really want to connect also physically. Just use chairs to make a circle. Blue, for example, they still want tables. They are quite conventional. But stage green wants those circles where you don't even see who is the leader within this group now. It's just a circle and everybody's equal. Now again, at some point you start to realize things and you are about to transition. And you realize talking and loving is great, but there's also something more to it. At some point, we need to be pragmatic. If we want to make the world a better place, we have to actually do something. That doesn't mean that you're regressing to stage orange. It means you evolve to stage yellow. You basically take those two things together, thinking and feeling, but additionally put it on the next level. A lot of people think they are already stage yellow, but mostly they are between orange and green and they realize there's something positive on both sides but merely this realization doesn't make you evolve up into stage yellow. Personal note here, I for example realized in the past that I used to be not as much green as I am right now because when I learned about this model and I learned about the downsides of stage green I felt a little bit happy and thought ha green is not as good as we all think. And when I learned about the limitations of stage orange, I really felt hurt. It felt like, oh, you got me here. It kind of showed me which stage I'm still mainly at. If you evolve, you also feel free of this mutual dependence because you had this need for applause and recognition and this group dependency. But if you evolve up in stage yellow, you're freeing yourself from this. But we will talk about stage yellow in the next video, so stay tuned.